What's up guys, today we're gonna to be doing a portfolio update. So if you are brand new to this channel, then I do a portfolio update once a week, um, whether it's good or bad, and we're gonna get into this portfolio. It has been a very interesting week because at the start of the week, it did go up quite a lot. And then I think we started dragging back down again. So we're kind of in the same position, kind of. So let's have a look. All right, Alibaba got two shares of this and I'm down 59 pound. Apple got seven shares of this and I'm up six pound 55. Can I just say as well, recently I've not been particularly enjoying uploading these portfolio updates because of how annoying the stock market is right now. But that's the game of the stock market. This is what happens. But yeah, it's not obviously the best to show off a portfolio that isn't doing great to a whole a few hundred odd people the reason for that as well is because i do these because i hope it's relatable for people to see so it's not always good in the stock market and i think it just shows the transparency um but yeah we've got 46 shares of argo blockchain and i'm down 20 pound aston martin um four shares of this and i'm up 24 pound barrett developments i've got nine shares of this and i'm up 19 pound buy nanogenomics i've got 46.6 shares of this and i'm up 30 pound with that in the last week it's actually gone up 3.4 percent so we've actually seen growth with buy nanogenomics so that's good churchill capital um cciv which is merging with lucid motors if you didn't know and i've got 168 shares of this and we're down 619 pound it had a good spike when there was apple rumors was that on the monday i don't know if that was on the monday but on the either way in the last week we have gone up 2.87 percent with it it just had a massive settle off um the next the last few days we got frx the one that just stays stagnant but <laughs> um i'm down 71 pound Givo's actually gone up two percent in the last week and we're down 276 pound palantir we've gone down 1.58 percent on palantir 343 shares of this and i'm down 492 pound so palantir we haven't done too well and that is one of my biggest holdings 5706 pound in this and it's just because i believe in this company um, there's a lot of people that think this could be a trillion dollar company, trillion dollar market cap. Um, if it did get to that, that would be actually ridiculous. I think it works out to be $600 a share um, off the top of my head from what I remember. I, I might be wrong there. I might be wrong. Um, I have to do the workings out at some point. If it got to that, that would be serious. That would be insane. But even if it could get a fraction of that, I'll be very, very happy. Sensionix, 89 shares. I'm down 70 eight pound tesla let's actually see tesla went down 2.6 percent in the last week and i got one share of this and i'm up 69 pound all right space virgin galactic three shares of this and i'm down 13 pound 60 i did do a swing trade and i'll get into that in a minute but with this portfolio i'm a, i have got 11,150 pound so yeah i'm down quite a lot as you can see so we're on to the invest account which is my short-term play slash plays that you can't end up buying in the ISA. So we've got three times long NEO shares, 103 shares. And as you did know, in the last episode of this, I did ask, should I put all my money into NEO long shares um, and sell my NEO position that I have, which you'll see later on in the video. And a lot of you people said no. And I'm kind of happy you did say no because I actually did some more digging into it. And if this goes to zero, I could end up losing all my money. So I don't really want to take that risk. So we've not gone with this and we've only got 103 shares of this just so that there's some money to play around with because I do think it is going to go up um, but just in case it does have a bit more downward spiral um, I don't lose all my money hence why I've just got my money in NEO as well if that even makes sense any of that all right Aero 48 shares down 131 pound Ehang two shares down 53 pound so in the week it actually went up a little bit HCMC Oh, we're up £3.64, boom. Didn't even see this. <laughs> it went up 33% in a day. Damn. Obviously, some news came out that I haven't actually kept up with because I've only got a small position in this. Hire car, I'm up £13.81. And to be honest with you, it's probably time to start selling. Um, it went down 1.61% in the last week. Hopefully, it can go up during next week and we can sell it. Lake Resources, 905 shares, and I'm down £30.55. This is going to be a future long-term holding stock for me um, as they extract lithium for the EV batteries. Neo, what has it done? In the last week, it's gone down 3%. Oh no, 
35 shares of this and I'm down at 174 pound. So this is another biggish holding for me in, and that is in NEO. Skills, 10 shares of this, down 48 pound. Um, yeah, not good at all. Virgin Galactic Space, so I'm up 8p. 8p with this swing trade, brilliant. I was up a lot more at um, the start of the last week. Um, but I was actually stupid and I've learned another lesson. I was doing this because there was a flight test in May and I'm still probably going to go with it and hold it. But they've got earnings, I think, on the 4th of May. So that might not actually be that good. So it might actually tumble. And I should have looked into that. I should have looked into that and got in probably when the earnings happened because you might have got a cheaper price. But I'm still going to hold it because of the flight test. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. So in this portfolio, I've got £1,992 and I'm down £462. So not looking great, but let's add it all up. Let's see how much is in my portfolio. And also, let's see if I've gone down or up in my percentage gains or losses. So I've got £13,145 in my portfolio. Not too bad, but it could be a lot better if I didn't have all these massive losses. But that is what this video is about. I want it to be weekly and I'm trying my best to keep uploading weekly as I have been busy just with day-to-day -day life because of my job and doing other things. It's just, it's just, it's hard to balance it all if I'm honest. But yeah, I'm showing you the bad times and these are the bad, ugly times. Hopefully there'll be some nice times in the future. But now let's get into the percentage gains and losses. So we have gone up in my ISA account 0.2%. So we've gone up a tad, a little bit, better than nothing. So kind of happy. <laughs> and then in my invest account, I've gone down 0.2%. So I've gone down. So pretty much we have broken it. We're literally around the same. We're around the same um, as last week. So <laughs> yeah, it's not been the best week. It's been a bit of a it had a really good start to the week, it really did, and then it just dropped off again. But, oh well, that's the stock market. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. It means so much to me when you do, because it just shows me you've actually been watching to the end of this video and also enjoyed it. Also, if you're brand new here, please hit that subscribe button, because I promise you, I'll show you. I'll show you it even if I'm down 50%. I'll show you it, even though I'll seriously hate filming it at that point you you could you to be honest with you and if you're still watching it right now i appreciate this so much but honestly you probably can hear it in my voice and the way i'm talking in these videos that i'm like i don't want to show you this um but i know it's helpful for some people and people like this and enjoy seeing it um but <laughs> yeah that's that in this video hopefully it can start getting better and we can start seeing green, not red, green. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.